Hi everyone, this is a basic reference video. So if you're new to guitar and you're playing for the very first time, the purpose of this video is to teach you your basic chords, your G's, D's and A minors and C's, all the basic chords you're going to need to learn to be able to play your first tunes. Now I'm working this through with me sick Varelt as well, who basically been supporting me for years, really good music shop, get your gear there. And um, You'll notice on the PDF file that I will send to you along with the link to the video you're busy watching, you'll find all the diagrams for the chords you want there, like your A's and your G's. Next to each one, each diagram in purple, is a timestamp as well. So if you go to 5 minutes, you'll find the chord E. For example, if you go into 7 minutes, the chord G. So the purpose again, you want to learn your chords, this is the video you want to see. Looking for a specific chord, look at the timestamp, fast forward to there, and I will teach you how to do it. We're going to start now with the first chord A. A starts with finger 1, 2nd fret, 4th string, 2nd finger, also 2nd fret, 3rd string, and ring finger, 2nd fret, 2nd string, and we're strumming from the 5th string downwards. This is your basic A chord also referred to as A major. Next up, we're looking at A minor. The lowercase m means minor. So you're going to start with finger 1 now. Second string, first fret, middle finger number 2, goes to the second fret, fourth string, and ring finger number 3 to the third string, second fret, also strumming from the fifth string down. Two minutes into the video, the chord B, finger number one, bottom string, your first string, second fret, fingers two, three, and four all go into the fourth fret on strings four, three, and two. I'm repeating the movement so you can see the fingers there. And we only strum the bottom four strings for the B chord. Just to help with different angles. Next up is B minor, finger 1, still on the 1st string, 2nd fret. Finger 2 goes to the 2nd string, 3rd fret. Finger 3 to the 4th string, 4th fret. And the pinky number 4 directly underneath it on the 3rd string. Also again, bottom 4 strings. nice to pay attention to the difference of the tone, the sound between the major and minor chords. Three minutes up, we into the C chord, finger one, first fret, second string, middle finger, second fret, fourth string, ring finger, third fret, third string, and for C chord, we play from the fifth down. <laughs> C minor is next, we go to fret number 3 on the 1st string, middle finger number 2, 2nd string 4th fret, ring finger number 3 goes to 5th fret 4th string and the pinky 5th fret 3rd string and we play from the 4th string down for C minor. <laughs> Next up, the D chord. D is going to start with your first finger on the second fret of the third string, middle finger, second fret of the first string, and your ring finger is going to go to string two, fret three. For the D chord, we play from the fourth string down. <laughs> D minor goes to string 1, fret 1 with finger 1. Middle finger goes to string 3, fret 2. Ring finger number 3 goes to string 2, fret 3. For D minor, you play the bottom 4 strings. D minor chord. 
We're on to E now. Into five minutes, you're going to have finger number one on the third string, first fret. Middle finger number two goes to the second fret, fifth string. And your ring finger number three goes onto your second fret, fourth string. And for the E chord, you strum all six strings. Next up, we have E minor, fingers 1 and 2, both in the 2nd fret on strings 5 and 4 simultaneously. Some teachers might prefer fingers 2 and 3. I'm actually okay with both. I'm going to demonstrate this one. For the E minor, we strum all 6 strings again. It's going to sound like this. Next up, F. F is a bit sneaky. Finger 1 must go flat across both strings 1 and 2 in the 1st fret. Finger 2 needs to go to the 2nd fret 3rd string. Ring finger number 3 goes to the 3rd fret 4th string. And then we play from the 4th string down. That's your F chord. F minor, finger number one now has to go across all three strings, strings three, two, and one in the first fret. Ring finger goes to fret number three in the fourth string, and this is your F minor chord also from the fourth string. This technique with the flat finger is called barring, very important technique. Seven minutes in, we're looking at G. Finger one goes to string five, fret number two. Middle finger goes right to the top string, fret number three. And ring finger goes to the bottom string, string number one, fret three. And for the G chord, all six strings. Next up. G minor, we barring, in other words, placing your first finger across all three strings in the third fret, finger number one, then your ring finger goes to fret number five on the fourth string, and you play from the fourth string down for G minor. Mm -hmm. Next up, you're going to your sharps and flats. So you're looking at A sharp and B flat major, which are in essence the same chord. Finger 1 goes to fret 1, string 1. Fingers 2, 3 and 4 all go to the 3rd fret. It's a little bit of a squeeze and you play from the 4th string down. You can see the fingers there. 4th string, here we go. A sharp, B flat, the same chord. Next, A sharp minor starts with finger 1, fret 1, string 1. Finger 2 goes to string 2, fret 2. Finger 3 goes to fret 3, string 4. And the pinky number 4 goes to string 3, fret 3 as well. This is A sharp minor, also called B flat minor, from the 4th string. <laughs> Next up, C sharp, which is the same as D flat. We need to bar all six strings in the first fret. Finger two goes to fret two, string two. Ring finger number three, string four, fret number three. And the pinky goes up to fret number four, string five. And you strum from the fifth string. C sharp, D flat. Next up, C sharp minor, which is the same as D flat minor. Finger one, fret one, string three. Middle finger number two goes to string four, fret two. And the ring finger, string two, fret two. And the pinky, which is quite a nasty stretch, has to go all the way to fret number five, four, sorry, of the fifth string. 
and you don't play the, the top strings, so it's the bottom five. Not my personal favorite chord, there are other ways to do it, look for the bar chords. Next up, D sharp and E flat, finger one, fret one, string four, and then you get a nice little stretch going with fingers two and three into the third fret on strings one and three, and then the pinky goes to string two, fret four, D sharp and E flat, strumming bottom four. <laughs> Next is D sharp minor and E flat minor, the same chord. Finger one, fret one, string number four. Ring finger goes to the bottom string, fret number two. Nice stretcher over here. Finger three, fret three, string three, and pinky. String two, fret number four. Strum the bottom four strings. D sharp minor or E flat minor, the same chord. Next up, F sharp, finger one, flat across the bottom two strings in the second fret, we call this barring. Finger number two goes to string three, fret three. Finger number three goes to string four, fret four. We strum the bottom four strings. The first finger being flat is the trick over here. F sharp minor, also bars all three strings in the second fret. So you're putting finger one across like this. Ring finger comes to fret four, string four. For the F sharp minor, we play strings four, three, two, and one. And this technique that we use where we bar all three strings is referred to as barring. So it's the beginning training for bar chords. We're up to 12 minutes into the video. We're looking at G sharp and A flat, which are the same chord. G sharp has got finger number one in fret number four, bottom two strings. Finger number two goes to string three, fret five. Ring finger number three goes to string four, fret number six. And this is from the fourth string down. G sharp or A flat, the same chord. The last chord in this particular study, G sharp minor or A flat minor, finger number one goes across the bottom three strings in the fourth fret, and the ring finger goes to fret number six in your fourth fret, and you strum from the fourth string down. G sharp minor or A flat minor. Now before I sign off, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. If you need some good equipment, don't forget to contact me, Sick Farrell, at 021-9494070. They'll give you an awesome deal. And um, I would suggest you get a guitar tutor of sorts, depending on your area. The Sick Farrell will guide you to the nearby teacher, the area. or you can contact me directly for a video online. Because your guitar tutor is going to help you to make sure your techniques are correct, that your finger placing is right, that your thumb is not too high or not too low. It's going to make sure you don't get dead notes like this. No strange things like that, for example. They're going to show you how the chords fit together to make songs and your rhythms and everything. So please get a guitar tutor. Otherwise, have an awesome day, and I hope this helps you get to play guitar. Thank you. Take care.